Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Blockhead Reviews, a random topic. This is a series where I, XXXMan360 the Blockhead, will be talking about current events or my thoughts on a topic. In this episode, I will be talking about Windows 11. Windows 11 is the newest OS by Microsoft. No specific date was announced for the time of its release, but what's interesting is the OS was leaked early. Essentially, the copies of Windows 11 roaming around right now are beta editions of Windows 11, so I would not recommend you go replace your Windows 10 install just yet. Now I'm running my Windows 11 install on a USB, so I can still try out the OS without interfering with my main OS or any of its files. People say its UI resembles that of Windows 10 X, and I don't blame them. <laughs> I suppose you could say the X in Windows 10 X is 1.1. I'm going to open the Explorer window right here. As you can see, the icons have changed in appearance in comparison to the ones you have seen in Windows 10. It would seem Microsoft is now using color to differentiate between icons. I also want to point out the rounded edges that can be seen on the windows. I will say that this design reminds me of the interface that is used in macOS. What's more, is when I was installing Windows 11, the setup reminded me of macOS as well. It's those blur effects and the rounded rectangle in the center that probably made me think that. Let's move on to sounds now. I'm going to open up the system sounds. You can see that the start menu is different than the Windows 10 start menu. More of the Windows 10 X start menu. I wonder if that may be a problem for some users. Anyways, so now that I got the sounds open, you'll notice that as I play them, that they're not the same as the Windows 10 sounds. And I think that is good Microsoft decided to change the sounds. And my reason for that is it makes you feel like you're really getting a new OS. It gives a new atmosphere for people and would make people less bored of the OS. For me personally, when I install a new operating system, I like to check it out and see how different it is in comparison to the one I typically use. And I think Microsoft has piqued my interest for Windows 11 in the cool new things to check out department. On the other note of sounds, Windows 11 now has an intentional startup sound now. I say intentional because Windows 10 startup sound is turned off by default and reuses Windows 7's startup sound, whereas Windows 11 has its own startup sound that will play by default when you start your computer. Next, let's examine some themes. As you'd expect, they have the flat UI design as Metro is the standard now. Um, also, I do not have Windows activated yet, but you can see that uh, the backgrounds look pretty relaxing. Microsoft should include Bliss as well because that background is especially popular and is nostalgic for many. Of course, you can always download Bliss from the internet. Moving away from appearance and sound, let's talk about compatibility. Now, Windows, CN, C, uh, Windows 11 seems to enforce the usage of TPMs. TPM stands for Trusted Platform Module and essentially serves the purpose of security. Rather than protecting data with only software, TPMs are supposed to be hardware that protects. I would imagine that the hardware has more control since the computer runs on it, so it would serve as a good second layer of protection. I have no idea if this beta copy of Windows 11 I'm using is the version that enforces it, but if it isn't, this might be the only version of Windows 11 that I'll be able to run on my PC, which would rather be sad since I really like this OS. 
But let's not be so down about this OS. There's some other great news regarding compatibility. One of the more amazing features of Windows 11 is its support for Android apps. I was actually shocked to find this out, but it's true. Microsoft demonstrates it on their YouTube channel. They mention it's done through the Amazon App Store. So I'm wondering if that means you can't open just any ordinary APK. But if you can, that's even better. And I think a lot of Android emulator brands are going to get the cold shoulder when they see their regular users are no longer using their product. Oh well, with Microsoft always pushing the factor to please their users, this was bound to happen. And of course, any programs you use on Windows 10 are very likely to work on Windows 11. I can clearly see Microsoft put a lot of work into wanting their community of Windows users to really appreciate Windows 11 and not just see it as some Windows 10 clone, but it quote-unquote has better security measures, because it definitely is more than that. I look forward to using this operating system as my host OS in the future, but I'll have to get used to this start menu. Other than that, great work Microsoft! This concludes my thoughts and review of Windows 11. I hope you agree with my opinions, and if not, that's entirely okay, and I respect that. Goodbye for now. If you'd like to see more of this series, then make sure to click that subscribe button and ding that notification bell. New episodes come every month, so stay tuned. So I can still try out the OS without interfering with my main OS or any of its files. People say its UI reminds that of Windows 10. Frick, I meant resembles.